Amen. Yesterday, we were talking about favor that Stefan is sitting next to a double portion. Amen. Amen. Uh, Chris obtained favor when he married Echo. Amen. Amen. Ma looked like he wants some favor tonight. He better hurry up, bro. He looks like, like, yeah, he better hurry up. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's beautiful. So we're going to talk about favor and then we talked about Tamika, the spirit that's on Nandi. Amen. Who can watch other people obtain favor and rejoice as though it was her. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. We talking about her first response, not no calculated amen response. So Maggie, it's not surprising that favor has found Nandi. Right. Nandi is on her way to Ghana, y'all. Amen. In January. <laughs> Amen. See, there's no secret to this. God has something for you. Yes. Amen. So she'll be in, uh, Lord willing, she'll be in Ghana uh, while I'll be in Paris for my birthday. All right. Amen. Amen. So, so, and uh, I was texting her this morning where she said that the Lord was speaking to her that he was going to give her the highest desire of her heart. All right. How y'all like that? Amen. 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 So, so, uh, uh, Stephan obtains favor. And then we're going to show you something. Cause after, I need to really slow down. I did too much on Sunday. And I'm, I'm paying the price. It's kind of fun yesterday, but I still pay the price. So it's going to be a short session. Um, so get Proverbs chapter 5. So he obtains favor. But, but Simona, he obtains fa favor if he finds a good wife. Now, now let's get Proverbs 18 again because... She has to be a good wife. You get a booger wooga, that ain't no favor. That's a permanent migraine Oops. and bone cancer. Okay? So Proverbs 18 and 22. I believe you. Whoso findeth a wife. So remember the word, what was the word yesterday? Tova. T O V A H, Tova. So, whoso findeth, star, somebody like you, a good wife. Write it in your Bible and your notes are somewhere. A good wife. Read. Findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Okay. Favor. Is something that you want in your life. Amen? Yes. You want favor. Okay? Yes. And this is what this young man has done. And he has found her. She is the wife of his youth. Proverbs 5. Even though he's 12 years older than her, amen, their spirits match up. Amen. Huh? What would he look like with somebody close to his age that had set the block on fire in the wrong way? She done burn everybody. Amen. Okay? So it's a match of spirit. Uh, Christ Apostolic Temple sent us a flyer. Didn't have to send Cynthia one. She like, I'll be there. Look at her. Just the thought of it, she just likes her. And so Lana opened it up and said, I cannot believe that this man will be six, I think next month, or this month, one of them. Can't believe it. She said, I can't believe this. 
Uh, that's a spirit. I even asked him, I said, what'd you do? Probably stayed away from dull Pentecostal folk. <laughs> Amen. So it's about the spirit and, and, and Laura Willer, uh, one of my daughters, it going to keep him young. Amen. 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 See, I know you frowning or having an attitude because I teach a principle that escaped you in your life. Yes. Y'all be glad to see it. Yes. Amen. Uh, so, she listened. Uh, as far as excellence of presentation, what's the other one? Excellent of character and spirit. Okay? While she's going through, she's in Florida right now, enjoying her daughter. Okay? Amen. And somebody saw that. Watch this now. So God favored her response to tribulation. Yes. Is that helping somebody? Yes. I mean, anybody can give. How many of y'all felt like giving up before? Amen. Some of y'all still lying. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give liars the night off, even though you will have your part in the lake. <laughs> uh, Proverbs 5. Talk about favor. A few more scriptures and you can go get a gallon of haagen I don't care what you do. Amen. Proverbs 5. So proud of Stephen's spirit. Then we're going to talk about somebody else because Nani reminded me of something. Someone else who found favor at Tisha because of their perception. And the favor of God came. And when I was talking to Nani this morning, when she said the, the, the highest of your desire, which is something you really want in your heart to happen in your life. Yes, yes. And so this, this woman's perception, you know, and so when it, was, when it was time for her to be blessed, she basically, because some things, some things you don't want, you don't want to share with everybody. Right. Because they don't understand. Or, or you could say, well, you can, you can brace yourself and say, I really, really want to see this happen in my life. And, and, and you'll try to deny it and say, I'm good, I'm okay. When you're not okay. How many of y'all, there's some things you really want to see in your life. Amen. Uh, and so the, the beauty of an Ariel and a Stephanie is uh, that he reserved himself for Ariel, not knowing. Amen. Right. Hosey would have took a wrong turn and ended up at Salem. I ain't not going to play. But Ariel's not there. Right. <laughs> Hosey's GPS would have messed up. He ended up across the street. Ariel ain't there. Right. Ariel here. Amen. Amen. And not only did she change his seat, she changed his life. Yeah. All right. Amen. So. She'd be the president of the Mitchell Institute for Love. <laughs> She's the only one enrolled in that car. Don't you try to enroll. Don't you send no application. <laughs> I'm still praying and fast. Go and eat and watch TV. Because <laughs> July 14th at 2 o'clock. Y'all like the scripture because you think it's nasty. But anyway, pick up verse 15. <laughs> Drink waters out of thine own cistern. And all the nasty people say, yes. Read. <laughs> and running waters out of thine own well. Davion, they're going to really put me on TV. You think, you think it maybe a little slip up. The man the guy going to say, look, Ron, I really like you, but... The FCC. No. No, nah, I don't know. No. Make me no difference. Read. <laughs> Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad. Read. And rivers of water in the streets. Speaking of young love, the Andrews. 
Amen. Yeah. Yeah, watch those pants, baby. That's his country. That, that's all right. I just, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're lying. You're right. Read. <laughs> Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Read. Let thy fountain be blessed. And yes, sir. Read. And rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Of thy what? Thy youth. And so here's a fulfillment of the wife of his youth because he kept his spirit young and he gets a beautiful young woman amen, amen. she gets a man they get each one of them is number one in the other's eyes okay so now they want Maggie they want to keep the favor don't lose the favor amen he can't mistreat her and keep favor. No. She can't take advantage of his demeanor and take him for granted. Because you, you're going to be hard pressed to find another 18 year old in the country heading to a Berkeley with a husband. Amen. Amen. And you only know them in life. That might be, y'all don't even know that you're sitting amongst something that's rare. Yes, very rare. Okay. Well, why couldn't he wait four years? You don't let that stay on no counter for no four years. Not even four, four weeks is pushing it. I ain't studying y'all. <laughs> Just some, just because somebody gave you a first promise ring at Macmillan. <laughs> See, I try to be nice, but y'all just be tripping, man. Proverbs eight. <laughs> hey, See, you make people mad when you say that. Like, now, don't encourage him. <laughs> I'm already encouraged. My son and his wife made it to ten years. That's encouraging to me. Proverbs 8, we're going to talk about favor. Pick up at verse mm, 32. Now therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, Watching daily. Watching what? Daily? Daily at my gates. Daily at my gates, read. Waiting on at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Findeth life and, and, and what? And shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. <laughs> Although all they that hate me love death. So in his, Chris, in his decision to honor the covenant of marriage, marriage is honorable to bed undefiled, that's wisdom. Yes. Okay? So why would you ever be ashamed of being a young man with wisdom? And knowing that, that life is short and that, that here is someone that was made for you and you want to be a covenant man, amen, and so now... Uh, older men, younger men can look up at you because of your choice. Right. Because it took wisdom to lock that down Amen. for a lifetime. Amen. That's wisdom. <laughs> Only a dummy would let something good get away. Right. How many of y'all know you a good thing that somebody better hurry up? Amen. Only a dummy. You can't walk away from the person that will have in the reservoir of their heart all your giftings and be considered wise. You can't walk away from someone who has the boundaries of your life. Long as you stay within those boundaries, you are blessed and they are a primary source of wealth. You can't walk away from that and be wise. 
No, sir. Amen. You can't walk away from the woman that stops you from committing, for having a hernia and lifting up too much and consider yourself a wise man. That's why these men are sitting at clubs, half drunk, on the porch waving because they were not wise. Amen. A great woman probably came by and they messed over her. And now they have to live with a man dying, a man being a man who lacked wisdom. Somebody thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Wisdom. Watch it. It was wise not to spill your seed and not have no gum under the table. So when an Ariel comes back and a Tim and Michelle interview you, you ain't got an ounce of gum under the table. That's wisdom. To withhold yourself from temptation. And everybody rolled up on you. And not take advantage of silly women and dumb women. Where you reserve yourself. Amen. And all the ridicule. Amen. That comes with being a man of wisdom and restraint. But come July 14th. Amen. At 2 o'clock. Huh? And wisdom not to use your beauty, amen, and spread it around Miller North, amen. You had one Alfonso thing, and thank God it was Tim Wilson, amen. And God, why did a devil try to stop you from intersecting, amen, with a Stephen? Oh, somebody give God some glory. It was wisdom, amen, to see the foolishness in that and never do it again, amen. You ought to be glad when you don't make keep making the same mistake over and over and over again yes, so wisdom has found wisdom amen okay that's good mm -hmm. you can keep doing the same thing you can keep having the same attitude <laughs> man somebody was mad yesterday <laughs> yeah, I was getting worse Cause who you mad at? Who you mad at? Cause you sat in some church and let men play with you. Reverend. Deacon. <laughs> trustee. Mm. Who you mad at? Cause somebody put you on hold for 12 or 13 years. Ooh. Who you mad at? That you put all your eggs in one basket and when they died, you quit living. Don't get mad because somebody chose life over death. Amen. Amen. Somebody else in here had their heart broken, but they looking for Luther Vandross love the second time around. <laughs> Ain't nobody, amen. I almost said ramen noodles, but I'm not saying that because I'm saying <laughs> Proverbs 3. Go ahead. I'm trying to do Get better. It. I'm trying to recover. Go Get it. Amen. I'm trying to recover. <laughs> Chapter 3 of Proverbs. <laughs> Pick it up at verse. Verse 1. I'm about finished. <laughs> I hear you, pretty girl. You so happy to be in church, aren't you? Look at her. <laughs> Holly, look at her hands already outstretched. <laughs> she see that milk. <laughs> Chapter three. Hey, uh, they really don't want to replace our carpet, that letter. You know, some of them, she's just destroying them. So that's, that's, that's what's holding us up. They want to come and clean it, but we want new carpet for they mess. Right. So. You know, they don't know you're an immigration lawyer. Just send them a letter anyway. <laughs> Amen. If not, we'll get it clean. But Sonia's going for the gusto. Mm -hmm. Right? So, Sonia, Sonia's just... Right, thank God for Sonia. Sonia is no joke, Bell. Verse 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For a length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. 
Read. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Mercy and truth. Don't let them leave you. Read. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Read. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Mm -hmm. Trust so, in the Lord. So in order to obtain mercy or to obtain favor, you have to at first been a recipient of mercy. Yes. Amen. And the truth of the word. See, it's the same word. It's not a different version. And, man, and so when people desire or, desire, or, or, or decide to line up with it, they reap the benefit. It's real simple math. Okay? It takes discipline, self-discipline. It takes rebuking yourself. It takes talking to yourself. It takes unplugging your emotions. It takes stretching out on God. It takes being honest with God. Amen. And lining your, amen, lining your will up, that human will, which is very strong, which has messed up a lot of people. Because God is not going to make you a robot for you to serve him. No. Nope. Once you unplug your human will, mm -hmm. and God is able to make you do things you don't want to do. Right. Amen. And apologize and say things you don't want to say. You have set yourself up to receive favor from the Lord. The mercy and truth. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. That sounds like a simple scripture. You see people in church are quote that. Easy to quote. Hard to live. Hard to live. Yep. Amen. Amen. Most time when they quote it, Maggie, they ain't going through nothing. <laughs> oh, it's for somebody else. Right. Amen. Read it again. I know some man, they just spit that scripture out. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And when you got a devil on your job like Lana got, amen. <laughs> this is where this scripture comes into effect. Right. Amen. That I'm faithful in my living and my giving and God going to take care of me. Amen. I'm not worried. I'm not leaving my job. Amen. But if this brook key rift dry up, I'm going to Zarephath. Amen. That's it. I trust God. Yeah. Amen. My sister, you know, you pray for her. They're trying to get her to take a $50,000 pay cut. She ain't doing that. And just told her to get back in the classroom. She's so she talks to her baby brother, who she think is her older brother or whatever. <laughs> so I just sent her scripture like, so somebody got this principal position that she didn't get. So I just sent her the scripture in Revelation. It said, God opened up a door, can't nobody close. That wasn't your door. Yeah. But then I tell her, it's kind of unfair because I live by faith. It is unfair, but it's, it's, it's not because it's the same Bible. But I live by faith, okay? Every day. Amen. Had a good talk with Tremonde. Every day I live by faith. So you could say, it's somewhat easy for you to say. Uh, but she got comfort in that. It wasn't your door. Amen. Amen. You don't want to be at a school the way schools are dangerous now. Where God didn't mean for you to be. Right, right. And don't fall apart. Lord have mercy. Can I use this for a minute? Yeah. You ain't got his address in here, do you? No. <laughs> you wave. Somebody do it right now. Who you? Because this is a bad scripture. Because you're worried about something. Huh? You wave your giving. Your living. Amen. Your life. Amen. Your record. Man. Your good attitude. You wave all that before God. Amen. Under his nose so he can get a whiff of the essence of you. The essence of your praise. The essence of your worship. Every saint who you strengthen their hand in God. Everyone you put their hand on their shoulder. Everyone you lift it up. You wave it under God's nose. Amen. Amen. Get a, get a, get a, a whiff of what you bring to the table. Yes. Huh? God has a keen sense of smell. Amen. You can remind him about the fragrance of your life. 
Lord, I'm not worried, but I'm trusting in you with all my heart. Amen. Yes, you all that I have. Yes, yes. I don't have an exit strategy. Yes, yes. Read. Oh, man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Man, that messes everybody up. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Your eyebrows will fall out. <laughs> Trying to figure out life. Yes, sir. Your own understanding. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what so and so did. That doesn't mean you're going to get what they get. Right. Right. Amen. And all Satan does is take the word and twist it in your mind. Amen. You can't figure out why Joseph had to stay an additional years when he told the man don't forget about me right it wasn't time yet oh man i mean when i went to the business i said i did thus and this and that and he walked away man he said it's not time yet you know but when it was time yes it jumped me. Oh my, somebody here gonna get jumped. Amen. When it was time, amen. I woke up that morning. It was like every day. I'm trying to encourage some one person before I drop this mic. It was a regular day. Yeah. It looked like it was a regular day at eight in the morning. It was a regular day at noon, Keith. At three o'clock, it was just a regular day. At six o'clock, it was a regular day. I'm helping Todd. He worshiping back there. At eight o'clock, it was a regular day. But come eleven. 7 o'clock, amen. The whole day changed, amen. And God said, amen. I had to get up. I had to get up. I had to get up and go look for something. But what I went to look for wasn't it. But what I bypassed, I woke up in this morning. Y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. When it is, somebody here about to get jumped. Yes, Lord. Jump me. Jumped. Because you've been praising God. You've been magnifying God. Amen. And he going to jump you with a blessing. Hallelujah. And what Nundi told me this morning, it's not going to be some I, I, wishy-washy. It's going to be the desire of your heart. Amen. And somebody else, amen, is going to wish they had your attitude. Wish they would have kept smiling. Wish they would have kept praising God. Wish they hadn't gave up. Wish they had to take up. Somebody in here, before I drop this mic and get some medicine, is about to get jumped by the will of God. Amen. Hey. Spirit. That's why you rejoice when people get something that you desire. When people get something that they desire. When people get something they waited on. You don't never get your situation confused with somebody else. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because when God jump you. <laughs> when he jump you. Amen. Amen. So you pass the Alfonso test. Yes. You never go down that street again. You listening. You go from Michelle, and when you go to Simona, you get the same rules. Yes. Lana, same rules. Yes. Amen. Watch this. In your mind, ooh, man. I'm tired of talking about that. Well, you need to leave now because I ain't done. Because it's in my ministry. I got a right to brag about whatever I want to brag about. Amen. I'm up here teaching and giving my life for people looking at me stupid. Well, when I find somebody who's a recipient of what I did half my life, I'm going to talk about it. Talk about it. That's right. Talk about it. I get tired of looking at people think I got something against them. I ain't stunting you. That is the blessing of God. Amen. Love jumped that child. Yeah. 
The letter from Berkeley almost beat her back home. <laughs> Parents! She got full rides. Are we going back? This is a faith move. Huh. Well, part, uh, part of that been taken care of. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, Lord, jump that child. We were at a graduating, uh, graduation, celebrating. Amen. Lord was there, but it ain't jumped her yet. Hey, right, y'all hear me? Amen. She didn't write that down. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Miller Noir. And then I know that Berkeley's going to accept me. Don't nobody know when Berkeley accepts them when they, until they do. Man, Ber Berkeley. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking about that till I die. Come on, that's good. One, two, three. Good. From the same church in the hood. That's beyond, amen. Yeah. amen. You better believe it. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Miller now graduation. And then somebody gonna give me a ring. <laughs> Ain't no way. No way. You can't do God like that. Amen. Amen. Look at that child on the altar there. And with my other daughter, who's blessed that I have talked to her sometime. Mm -hmm. Gives her instruction. Tells her, do this when I see stuff. Because this generation like to post everything on Facebook. All Facebook does is inspire your enemies. Uh, me and Lisa are tighter than two toes in a sock. But when she put on that she had a mild heart attack, uh, uh, I'm like, because uh. when, you, when you exude that much love and joy, somebody don't like you. And somebody like the fact you flat on your back. Amen. And I know, you know, she, but I'd rather them see her in the booth. Yeah. Yeah. They going out to dinner. They going out to concert. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Because somebody is always jealous of your spirit. Yes. Because they are natural born funkadelic. <laughs> So this child has no idea, and she gets jumped. Amen. When I dealt with Essence, she had no idea that cause my wife chose Candace to get up there. But now Candace is getting trained for something that's so much greater. And yet I bring essence back so she'll have a greater appreciation Amen. of what God did for her. I didn't buy her no car. Right. Right. She got jumped that oh y'all playing with yeah. me. Yeah. She got jumped that day. Yes, she did. <laughs> Nandi. She got up in a raggedy would be giving that car a compliment. <laughs> If that car drove by Lapita out there, the alarm system would go off. <laughs> Just for the fact it's in the same airspace. Comes in, has a black card. She ain't black with a credit card. She has a black card. All right? The man of God, see, so if she don't come to church that day, Y'all playing with me. Amen. She didn't come to church talking about I'm going to get a car. No, I am just happy that I am surviving a messed up marriage. Man, God is blessing more folk with messed up marriages. Y'all heard me. God is blessing more folk with jacked up marriages. Amen. Who ain't giving up on him.
Let me say it again. Some of y'all hard to hear. God is blessing more people. Amen. That had to go through jacked up marriages. Yeah. So that day. He goes out to drink water. So it's a timing. She pulls up. Then he sees her stand here with joy. She don't look like the car she came in. Right. So the man of God tells me, you see the kind of car she drives? No, I don't park over there. I don't know what she drives. She could have walked the truck, took the bus, Uber. I don't know. I don't go over there. <laughs> she can't be that close to you and drive that kind of car. Hey, Michelle, let's do something. How do you come to church in a raggedy car, go to a car lot, and get a car and get the title if God don't jump you that morning? Amen. You in a church where God jumps folk. Amen. And he's still jumping folk. like quitting. Somebody in here gonna get jumped. Amen. You told you quit making lifetime decisions on what's going on right now. God, amen, who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above whatsoever you ask or think can jump you. There you go, messing my throat up again. Is oh God is on vacation. They pull money out of Echo's account. All she want to do is live right. That's right. No, it makes no sense. No. And quit being sad about it. Amen. That's right. huh. Here come an insurance check to come in and replay. Amen. Quit being sad about it. God can jump you with a blessing. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Just be f uh, faithful. Yes. Here you go. Do not be weary in the well doing. You got to do right. Quit looking at everybody else. Amen. Do right. Keep doing right. Betty gets her heart broken in front of all of us. Some of you in her wedding. Betty ain't missed a beat. Betty here at prayer. Betty pay her tithe like a clock. Betty walked up for a prayer as though her husband is up here. Boot up! No way God can remember Rachel and David and Noah and forget about Betty. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody in here, Glenda and Jane, is about to get jumped. No way! You position yourself so the favor of God can jump you. Damn it, I gotta save my throat, man. Man, I ain't got note the first. I don't need note on that. You can't get none out of God. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Especially when you had trouble with the alphabet in the beginning in the first place. <laughs> How you gonna get something out of God? Amen? You just flow with it. Let me show you this. Get Second Kings. There is a blessing. Mm -hmm. There is a blessing with your name on it that is for you. Anybody want to thank him ahead of time? Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All right, y'all playing with me. Mm -hmm. 
Man, when God has something for you, <laughs> can't nobody mess with it. No, that's right. <laughs> Second King, look at chapter four. God know what you want. Good to see Sierra come back with those beautiful girls. Get back in line for a blessing. Amen. No, don't. Amen. Because leaving don't stop my blessing. <laughs> I'm still in line. He done done enough for you. Mm, he must not have got the email. Because they sure made a $6,000 mistake in my favor. <laughs> they sure made a $6,000. Right. Amen. I was not supposed to get $15,000 off on that new truck. Oh, my God. Amen. And they changed the price while I was sitting there, but I got my deal. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and that was last week, I think. I don't know what he's going to do this week. All right. Amen. So I, 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 uh, I like being jumped with a blessing. Yes, sir. Amen. I like being jumped. Huh? Amen. You know you jump when you got the blessing and you think you're dreaming. You pinching yourself and got bruises. Because God done jumped you. Amen. 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 This, this woman's perception brought her a blessing. See, when you initially do something, it don't look like it's going to end up being what the outcome is. Because if that was the case, everybody would be trying to do something. You would be around greeting everybody. If you knew you had a man of God like Bishop Reed with money coming up, oh, you'd be sweet tonight. Sweet, spiritual, wanting to usher. No, we don't have ushers on Tuesday, but no, I'll usher tonight. Amen. <laughs> if you just knew, but you don't know. If you knew, oh my goodness. <laughs> You would just be a man. Glory to God. I remember I had a heavenly dancer come in that wasn't authorized. And oh, she was. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We fool around and Erica, who can't drive, <laughs> was fool around and a man who owned a cab company coming here and sweep her away. <laughs> a, a cab company. So she Amen. <laughs> sweep her away. <laughs> We all laugh because she can't drive, and God said, it's funny to y'all, but that's why I sent her a man who owned a cab company. Right. Amen. Amen. You, got... you don't have to drive. <laughs> I, 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 I know who's going to get blessed. No, you don't. No. Nope. You just found out that Jesus saves. <laughs> <laughs> to the art mall. Amen. Amen. You don't know. Now somebody can feel it in their bones mm -hmm. because they have insight. Amen. That's your beast quitting. Yes. Don't clap. All right. Uh, verse eight. No, don't clap. Don't clap. Okay. And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him. So oh, hold on. Minister with the, the leper said, like, look, look, why sit we here till we die? Right. Let's just get up. It ain't nothing gonna happen. We just stay in this, in this, watch this key, this mindset. So you can stay in a mindset, ain't nothing gonna happen for you. Not this week, not next week, not next year. Amen. Yet the, yet, the, yet the word of God, which has to be mixed with faith, has to change your mindset. Okay? 
Ariel's mindset, I don't want to be slick. I don't want to be no slick teenager. Same thing with, with, with Trey John. All right? Trey John didn't have enough sense to get dropped off of West Row and look around. <laughs> she looked around, she'd have seen Tracy. <laughs> lying. Now, I hope Carson don't come out with a spirit of lying. Amen. Amen. The reason why there's a Carson in her, because I'm not good at lying. I think I'll just be a church girl and amen. I'm not good at being slick. Amen. So now there's a Kenny and a Carson. Amen. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. So what I'm saying, Kirk, look at the ones which, you know, sit at the same table and decide to challenge it. When they heard you were engaged, they start crying. I ain't talked to none of them. You can't sit at the same table with somebody and decide to test the water out there and find out that the person that stayed. Amen. Not only in schooling, but in love. Just, just, just bless, bless, and not have an effect on y'all playing. Mm -hmm. You better believe it. That's why I talked about the spirit of Nandi. Nandi's a young woman. She has a degree from Howard. Nice. Amen. But she's happy for folk. Yes. Amen. Why? Because I'm hearing the same words they heard. Right, right. I ain't out here trying to do something different. Right. And yet, she's the only one that's been to Africa. And she's going back. See, God has something for you. Amen. That you want. I was good. That was good. Yes, sir. Carl, right? Yeah, it has an effect. Uh, none, of your, none of your sisters showed up at Carson's thing. So what? Uh, did we have a good time? Yes, we did. Amen. Mad because the baby ain't out of wedlock. Ain't, ain't that some crazy family? Now, she'd have been booed up. <laughs> oh, I just had to get the baby. Said, man, man, hey, you know what? Hey, I handle my family the same way. My, my niece had another baby. I ain't at the baby. Baby's innocent. Oh, I wish my son, oh, I wish Ronnie would come right here. No, 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 no. 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 Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. My niece has my mother's Rolex on her. My mother put in her will. She wanted Kimmy to have her Rolex. So, no, Pooh wasn't born when my mother died. She wasn't born, couldn't have been. Was Pooh born? How old is Pooh? Second child. I don't know, but my point is, if my mother came back, she'd go back to the grave. Because she loved Kimmy. And she didn't want to see Kimmy keep doing the same thing. This, this poo, poo and the, this baby had the same daddy. Okay? Be, because she just, I don't care how, the churches in Indianapolis are a trip. They are a trip. I dare say, if you would have stayed home, you couldn't have been married to this girl. They would have somebody set up, whether you liked them or not. There's some crazy stuff. Y'all should thank God for 2260. But it's just some crazy, life-altering. No, son. Who you should be looking. See, y'all be looking at me like, is he lying? I'm not lying. You should be looking at so-and-so. You know how to mess people up, Tamika? Man operates by sight. How he going to look at forever somebody who he never planned on looking at in the, in the first place? Who got a Bible? Ain't nothing in this Bible going to block the view of who he got his eyes on. Uh, I know that ain't God. She's, what will people say? 
You don't care what they say. It's when you say hallelujah, that's what counts. Amen. It's when you say hallelujah. <laughs> okay, this ain't Tuesday. It's close to Tuesday. You'll find out without going into the detail, things are going to happen where your hearing is not as sharp. Just think about that. Tasha, quit paying attention. Now you're supposed to be up there playing, looking at your game. What you looking at, Tasha? Amen. <laughs> Everybody say amen. amen. All right. Amen. So, so there's no, there's, there was, there's, there's none of these in that town. Okay. If anything, I'm gonna, I might get some clips somewhere out here with this one. If anything, fake people will supply their sons with condoms and their daughters with birth control pill, and you just go ahead, go to school, and don't tell nobody what you've done. Sure they do. Okay. So the beauty of this is two folk that love God found each other, amen, are going to consummate it after July the, or on July the 14th, amen, for the glory and honor of the kingdom, amen, with no games, no nothing, no sin, no confession, and can take their wedding certificate at any time and wave it under God's nose and say, I know we got a problem, but remember how we did it for your glory and honor. It's all mindset. Okay? I preface that with what's going on. I sure it's a beautiful home y'all gonna build, coach. Is that your property? Amen. Amen. Beautiful home. Amen. It's, it's, it's a lot popping in this church, y'all. It's a lot popping, and it's still popping. Amen. Beautiful home they're going to build from the ground up. Amen. So, look what happens. Look, now, look how I segue to this story. I know you think I called Coach to say, now, what you come in at? <laughs> he ain't that kind of guy. He ain't even close. Look at verse 8. Read. And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman. What kind of woman was she? A great woman. What kind of woman is Ariel? A great young woman. She said, I'm just a kid with braces. But somebody loved them some you. Amen. I think that's beautiful. Like Dadrian and uh, Lexi Poo look like two kids that have been playing house. Amen. I love young love. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. How disgusting are the Carters at the Louvre? Oh, <laughs> What's beyond seeing Jay doing? They ain't do, they ain't even they could even sit on the same row with them. And together they might be worth a billion dollars. And probably got more spirits than they got money. I know, you just, it's all right, roll your dice, ain't nothing prettier than what's sitting here tonight, Amen. nothing, I hope Tasha has it, I hope Nia has it, I hope Tinka gets it, I hope Zoe gets it, Zoe might have to get engaged as a junior. If she got to live in Papa's treehouse. <laughs> so a great woman, the same about her husband, and she constrained him, the great woman constrained him to eat bread. Read. And so it was that as oft as he passed by, 
He turned in thither to eat bread. Well, look at verse 9. She's about she, to get some favor with her perception. And she said unto her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God, which passes by See, us. you know what's so great about her? I mean, you, you've, been, you've thought about what I told you, didn't you? Yeah, you look like... Uh, <laughs> you think, you think I'm going to let Lord have mercy beat me? You don't let your family that watch you suffer determine what blessing you have in your life. All right now. And you protect it, you protect your uh, uh, the love of your life from ignorant people in your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's like. Well, learn to cook on Thanksgiving so you ain't got to go nowhere. Oh, yeah. oh. Or pay somebody to cook. I don't, I don't go nowhere where I'm mistreated. Amen. Or uncomfortable. I'm my wife. Nowhere. Right. <laughs> Last person that can tell me to do that is in the grave. I don't go nowhere. Yes. If anything, she'd say people try to invite themselves. They run into a little something. Amen. He said, but you're different now. You, when you suffer, <laughs> people will run over you as long as you let them run over you. And when you stop from running over you, I ain't talking about getting evil. I ain't talking about putting no pistol on nobody's nose. You just let them look. You ain't playing me like that. And just because I had, did you see what I told that member on Sunday who asked me for some money? Did y'all hear what I told them? I told them I had it. I didn't tell them I didn't have it. That'd be a lie. I had it. I ain't give you that. I ain't lie. <laughs> see, every time I see you, I just want to lean forward and just see what, see if God did something for you. <laughs> That's my girl. That's on it. No. Just because you have something, and it's coming up, because we got, we got a rich man over there. I'm not lying for some of these kids going to be amen, amen. stink amen. rich. Yes, sir. And I'm so glad I gave him a keyboard back in the day. <laughs> and Air Force Ones. And a backpack. Oh, I'm just, Lord, it's already done. It's done. My seed already in the ground. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, look, man, man, I don't know. You know, I might just stand up during the Grammy. Introduce me sitting down. I done blessed Daydream with a little outfit and a man and a, and a velvet scarf. I took my scarf back. Some Ferragamo shoes. Amen. So, star, ain't no use me sitting down. And my, why he standing up? Because I'm coming right back on stage. <laughs> and the winner of, I'm already up to stage. I know that's right. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to do my mama boyfriend walk. When they was broke, right. when they had less than zero, right. Amen. So when they get their day, it'll be partly my day, right? To enjoy the fruits, amen. 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 A blessing, them, amen. They don't owe me nothing but a ticket, <laughs> man. That's a, that's a blessing. Because not only did I provide the blessing, I brought the correction too. Right. Amen. Amen. Some things you can't get if somebody don't correct you. Yeah. Amen. Somebody don't correct you. This day could be a for. Ooh, that's, I get scared when I talk to. This day, somebody don't correct you. This day can be a forever day for you. It never gets better than this day. Amen. That's a scary thought. Amen. And so, so, all the things that we did, look at these kids. They don't owe, they don't owe raggedy family members nothing. <laughs> I bet it's like, but tell, tell, tell the person that got such an opinion about me and Grace and everything I do, ask them for some money. Oops, they ain't got none. 
<laughs> oh, you can't cast your opinion in, can you? <laughs> Why you like that? Why you like the way you are? Hmm? Why do you think that taking a stand against God's principle gonna get you anything but sorrow? Yeah. It's nothing. Okay? Here's a woman, got it in there. She perceived this a man of God and asked her husband nothing. I'm gonna bless him. Yes. And this dude stayed out the loop. He missed everything. One of those dudes. He didn't come from grace. That's all I can say. I thank you. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What a great woman doing with this dude out the loop. But you know what? Let me add to So, Dominic, we'll, we, we'll never know the story. Maybe he was great at one time, but lost faith. She's still great. And her perception, she perceives that this man keeps coming by. He is a man of God. Mm. Now look at all the people that could have blessed Bishop Wagner. All he deep and deep is uh, uh, deep ain't. I go bring that cassette and you would start shouting off the cassette. I did it one time, Amen. But never thought to bless him, huh? So they didn't get no blessing by perceiving he was deep. <laughs> Uh, I bless him. Why? So now, here's Bishop Reed. Now, here's his son. His son listens to what I say at the funeral. He thought his father gave me that. I said, no, nah, that just comes from Hebrew. Beto zu ishto. All right? So he said, I remember what you said. He said, two times remember what you said. You said that you repent, that you're going to come back here. He said, my members talk about that the whole time. And what you said is not good for man to be alone. And that his father was a man of conviction. You don't care how crazy your wife act, you still can be a man of conviction or a woman of conviction. All right? This woman's husband had no faith. All right? See, conviction is not tied into that other person. You never can tell that at one time he might have been great. Amen. That's why in data collection, amen, and you, you know, uh, you ask questions, you talk, but you have an agreement. If you decide you don't want to walk with God, I'm not following you. Amen. I am a woman of God. I am a man of God. Amen. Huh? So if you ever change your mind, uh, I'm not leaving church for you. Lord have mercy. I'm not leaving church for you. I'm not staying home to make sure you come home. I'm not going to no mental institution because you don't want to walk with God, I will leave you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, but that's why we got Betty. Yes. Perception. Mm -hmm. This woman said, look, oh, oh, I believe, I perceive that this is a holy man of God. Oh, what now? Oh, I almost lost my thought quantum. Yeah, we always heard about you when you bless Bishop. I know you bless Bishop. I know you bless Bishop. Yeah, shut up. Where's your Where'd you do for Bishop Reed? Where'd you do for Bishop Reed? I, do for Bishop Reed? I get to train the woman his. His son chooses. I get to train the woman his son too. Watch this now. How many of y'all got enough sense to know that will outlast the car? Y'all playing with me. Amen. Amen. The car, Dominique, was a 2001 BMW. Amen. In 2000. But the love on Candace. Amen. And what's on her. Amen. Will last. Ain't no telling how many. And we won't even talk about. Amen. The young women in the church. The teenagers. The couples. Cars depreciate, but what's on Canada won't depreciate. Y'all ain't it. Oh Lord, how much? Right, How many of you know that the white gets the greater blessing? Y'all playing with me? Amen. Yes, don't call her that. No, don't call you that. Read. Let us make a little chamber. I pray thee. Let us make a little chamber. Let's add to our home. 
See, everybody call you name, flunky, whatever, you boo, 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 until they see the blessing on what you did. <laughs> Blender, don't laugh, don't give it away. But somebody try to duplicate my blessing and try to, try to give somebody a, a blue walking suit. What? <laughs> and uh, an uh, and Audi. <laughs> People tickle me. It's like the man who had money. I gave two thousand. He gave two thousand and one. Oh, <laughs> How you do stuff like that? That's not in your heart. No. He had money. I emptied my. I emptied the church treasury. He gets up. Two thousand and one. Your perception, amen. So Stephen comes here. He ain't here because we're from the same city. He's here. He sit right back there. Quiet. I just when I came by, which I said, I don't know who he is. I had no idea that was gonna be your boo thing. I just lay hand on Aaron. This man's special. Whatever you asking God for. He gonna do it. Yes, Did he do it? And hey, won't he do it? <laughs> Got the Holy Ghost leaping. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. Perception. <laughs> Your perception. Kenny perceives he ends up with a trait. Your perception. There's other people here. Star Young. Yeah. Your perception. My perception has blessed me. I'm sorry. Amen. If your okay. perception don't bless you, you might want to change it. Mm -hmm. If you can. I bring the car home. My wife thinks it's mine. Because, you know, if I go to a dealership. It's funny. She's going to go like, when'd you get that? I've had that for a long time. Oh. Don't, no, no. I don't want you either. Don't. You just say amen. I ask you to get something. <laughs> Shut up, Barlow. Anyway. Had six miles on it. She thought it was mine. A mine, special Wagner. I didn't ask if she agreed. I asked her nothing. Amen. And I'm gonna give it to him. And they had to hide it in Eddie Long's garage because the people who perceived him deep never perceived to bless the man that was feeding them. And I took their blessing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Huh? Your perception. A member in this church blessed my assistant pastor because she perceived that she's a great woman of God. Amen. And You have a gift of blessing that your daughter inherit, so God going to jump y'all. Amen. I can tell you, I, I'll tell you right now, you're about to get jumped. Amen. Because of your perception. Yes, sir. Perception. You say amen to what other people have mind fights about. That's a formula for getting jumped. Amen. So Todd, here come his top member. I want to thank you for blessing him. So you, you went to the church, you didn't see his raggedy Lincoln Continental? You didn't see his raggedy Lincoln? Thank you for blessing our pastor. Thank you. No, thank you for missing. Thank you for your lack of perception. Oh, 
right. <laughs> Amen. Your lack of perception, I'm going to mess somebody, gave me an opportunity. All right. <laughs> it, it gave me an opportunity to come in. <laughs> this woman said, I perceive him to be a man of God. We're going to add to our house. Mm How -hmm. many y'all, you can't do that and God not jump you? Yeah. Oh boy, read. And let us set for him there a bed. Uh oh, Nebraska furniture, man. And a table. Another, oh man. And a stool. Yeah, there go the account. And a candlestick. Wow. And it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither. And it fell So on. watch this echo. I did this for somebody. I went to Nebraska furniture, man. They was in a mess. I went to the counter. And put a bed on my account. Bed box bed. And people were looking like, oh, that, yes, that, that must that must be. Uh -huh. yes, yeah. Who who that to, I know Reverend Bada. Who's that, his girlfriend and her mama? Uh, no. No, no. And they turned on me. Yep. How many of you know their perception gonna cause them? That's right. Uh -huh. Okay. Cursing. Cursing. Big time. <laughs> if you're gonna have trouble with your budget. Have it with your natural budget. Don't have it with your spiritual budget. Oh, let me say it again. If you're going to have trouble with a budget, and some of y'all don't budget, amen, that's all right. You just, you know, you, you suffer. Don't have a problem with your spiritual budget. Amen. Because you don't know what it's going to cost you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Read. And it fell on a day that he came thither, and he turned into the chamber and lay there. What you do that for? My perception. Read. <laughs> and he said to Jehazi, his servant, call the Shunammite. And when he had called her, she stood before him. Why did he call for her husband? He had no perception. Let him stay right where he at. Read. And he said unto him, say now, now unto oh, her. Now, oh man, my mind, my mind. You don't want Chris to be blessed and you not be blessed. Amen. You don't want Echo. So you came in here, man. Echo will fool around. When she see God, honor, y'all get met. The Holy Ghost may fall. You don't have to know anything about the Holy Ghost. All she got to do is believe and turn right. that pain inside out to praise God. I got the love of my life. I made a decision. This is who I love. I love him with his fault. And I'm going to praise God. Amen. I ain't going to let no miserable people make me miserable because they miserable. And I'm just going to praise God for one thing. Love. And the Holy Ghost can fall. Yes. Yes, Lord. You don't want stuff and bless, and you ain't blessed. Some things you need to be invited to. <laughs> you don't get no invitation. You don't want Ariel black, and you ain't black. <laughs> if the man of God, the prophet, that wash Elijah's hand going to beckon her. Why didn't he beckon us? I mean, we, you, I mean, see, you, know, you got to know who's, who, who called you to come for. <laughs> Some things you need to be invited to. <laughs> Deidre had a song. Lord, whatever you doing in this season. What's the rest of it? Don't do it without me. How many of y'all feel that way right now with everything that's popping off? Man, don't have me sitting here watching. Right. Window shopping. Witnessing. You mean Essence gets her job back? What did I mess up that I want back? Hey, man. Lord, don't, don't, Lord, don't. Who in here really don't want to get left out? Man, don't be leaving me out. It's hard to explain when everybody in your vicinity get blessed but you. Man, I ain't, man. I'm not that dude. I'm not that dude. I'm Brian, Brian Jr. 
Man, we just whooping him in ping pong. He go get a ping pong table. Now he a force to be reckoned with. I got to think before I go out to Bellevue now. <laughs> because he's that kind of man. I'm not going to sit here and have no ping pong table with my kids watching. <laughs> what did Trey call me? He called me, uh, no, he got a name for me. Mr. Bishop. I'm just whooping his daddy and he like, uh, Mr. Bishop is good. <laughs> Man, Brian Jr. got pride. He done came up with some old funky serve that I got to, I got to go look at it again. Hey, man, but he winning, he and Cammy practicing. I like that. Yeah. I'm not sitting here. I didn't buy this table for you to whip me. Right. I'm going to sit here and practice. If I got to get Jay and the whole family on the other side and return, I'm not going to sit here and... Who in here? I'm not getting left out. Hey, Amen. Right. If what something is going on, all right now. Now they back to go to Africa again. You done just went to see Amen Black Panther three times. Ain't went nowhere. <laughs> now they about to go to Africa again. <laughs> you done went to see Black Panther three times. Ain't going nowhere. She's back to Ghana. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> now you gonna fool around and they're gonna do a segment on CNN about a royal wedding and there's Queen Nandi. We're doing this excerpt on the newest first lady of Ghana. Things have changed since she's here. <laughs> I ain't trying to get left out. This husband wasn't invited. <laughs> called his shooter mic, and when he had called her, she stood before him, read. And he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. Woo, boy. Here are, we'll see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to end it on that. What is to be done for thee? What do you want? Right. I'm going. I'm, I'm segueing off of what Nandi texted me. The the she said that her Moses. She said that God's gonna bless you with the highest of your heart's desire. Seven words. Read them, Maylee. Read those seven words. What? What is? What is to be done? To be done for thee. For thee. Every head bow.